Ed Kites is our wide receiver coach. Uh, he was at a good job. He was at Texas Southern University, which don't won two black national championships. Mm -hmm. We go back together at Morgan State. Mm -hmm. And he came over and he coaches our wide outs. You look at Tyrone Butterfield, Juan Hall, you know, mm -hmm. those great receivers, good. lead the lead and reception. So we got some coaches doing some great jobs. And I can never take my hat off to one coaches. Mm -hmm. Coach uh, Russ Ehrenfeld, he coaches our offensive line. Mm -hmm. And last year our offensive line was pretty bad. And uh, he has came in there and made mm -hmm. our offensive line mm -hmm. going to make us be a contender for mm -hmm. the OVC. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, when you talk about uh, the Tennessee State University athletic program and football program, now uh, it's impossible to do that without uh, talking about uh, the uh, uh, Tennessee Oilers. And somehow I think most of us are sort of prone to say Houston Oilers, but the Tennessee Oilers. Now, what has that meant? Uh, for the spirit, uh, and I think you, the last time you were with us, we sort of broached this, but at the time we were running through a referendum as to whether or not the Oilers uh, at that time would come to uh, Nashville and whether or not they would build a stadium, but all those things are behind us and all of those things have uh, been completed. Right. Now, you can give us a sort of a real true uh, statement in reference to, now what does that mean in terms of the spirit? What have you noticed, uh, have you noticed at all uh, the, any kind of different uh, attitude that uh, the young men have this year uh, after having the oil, the oil is out there for the summer and what they were experience, what you experienced the first time you right. got here? Well, you know, I, I, like I always told you, uh, and anybody asked me, and I'd be a man to admit, mm -hmm. I'm a guy that I always felt that college football to be played on college campus because mm -hmm. that's what it is, is college football. Mm -hmm. and But now it's grown to big business, and then you have to keep up you know, with uh, facility-wise and all mm -hmm. that. And right now at Tennessee State, facility-wise, we wasn't in the market, you know. We mm -hmm. wasn't in the race, and I think that's what happens to the school as far as recruiting. Mm -hmm. But now since the always came, I mean, it's given us a, you know, going to give us a stadium that's state-of-the-art, mm -hmm. which probably will, you know, help us be one of the best schools in the country now as far mm -hmm. as recruiting and facility-wise. Mm -hmm. But what I think the always coming to uh, Tennessee State this past summer, I think what it did to Tennessee State is, Stop all the stereotype about Tennessee State, uh, all the horror stories. If yes. you come over at Tennessee State, this is going to happen to you, that's going to happen to you. Mm -hmm. The school has ran down buildings and all that, you know, because one day I was sitting in the stand and there was a, a gentleman sitting beside me. And, and then once it was over, and it was a white guy. And mm -hmm. uh, we started walking back and boy, he said, you know what? This is the first time I've been over at Tennessee State. He said, I, you know, I heard all these horror stories about coming over here and mm -hmm. this and how the campus all ran down. He said, this is a beautiful campus, and, mm. and I, you know, I thought that was pretty nice of the guy to say that. He said, you know what, I'm going to go back and tell the rest of the people, you mm. know, in, in my office that, hey, they should come over to Tennessee mm. State, watch football games, and support their program, because mm -hmm. this is, a, I think, is a program on the rise. I think their stadium is nice. I think the campus is a beautiful stadium. So mm -hmm. I think what that did for us is to open the campus up and open this part of the town up to everyone and say mm -hmm. it is a safe part of the Mm -hmm. you know the town mm -hmm. that you can come over and enjoy an athletic event a concert or anything mm -hmm. just like you can go down to middle vanderbilt or any other place mm -hmm. and so it has had a tremendous impact upon uh, what you do as the uh, coach and it has opened up tennessee state university in a real sense probably better i think as you're saying than any other uh, single event probably could have done uh, just the fact that they did uh, they do represent the National Football uh, Conference and, right. the national, and they've got and this big, big money. Has it done anything in terms of your own budget? Well, what it did is, you know, they came out and they, they kind of uh, did the football field. And let me interrupt you here, Coach. Uh, we've got about seven seconds here before oh. we end this break here. And, and, and then we'll get back and we'll talk about that. We'll be back with you following this.